Okay, everybody, this is going to be my first YouTube video. And in this video, I'm going to show off all of my boxed DS games. I've got some more that are stashed away in little GameStop packages. I'll show those off later. But anyway, number one is SmackDown vs. Raw, the 2010 edition. And this one is the best out of, I think, three of them they had, uh, 08, 09, and 2010. 08 and 09, you could use a stylus, or you were forced to use a stylus. This one is all button control. Graphics, not bad for a DS game. I like it. And that's saying a lot because I'm not a wrestling fan. But a uh, pretty good game. Okay, you got Golden Eye. 007. It's James Bond. It's Golden Eye. It's a first person shooter. What more can I say? Good game. Dragon Ball Z Origins. I haven't put too much time into it. Maybe about a good 40 odd minutes. But uh, from what I did play on it, it was decent. Tom Clancy, uh, Chaos Theory, the controls take some getting used to, graphics, not as good as I think they could have been, but the gameplay is solid, but I will say if you have a 3DS, get that version, when the 3DS dropped down to 250, no, when it dropped down to 200, that's when I bought it couple years back and I had the 3DS version of Splinter Cell. Good game, graphics are way better, but the map was kind of hard to read so I couldn't get past the second map. This one is a little bit better as far as knowing where you got to get to and getting there, but uh, can't go wrong with this. Next up, Call of Duty World at War. It's Call of Duty. What can you say? Uh, Nintendo and their third party companies had a, a bad habit of shoehorning touchscreen controls into their games. And, and or shoehorning pointless mini games into their games. The Call of Duty series for the DS could have been a whole lot better if they would have ditched the mini games and just stuck with the game itself. The driving scenes were good, the shooting games were good, but just ditch the mini games. I wish there was a way once you beat the entire game, you could go back and play the game without having the mini games tacked on. That would be that would have been really good. But you couldn't, so it is what it is. It's Call of Duty. Duke Nukem Critical Mass. Now, if you don't know, this was supposed to be ported to the PSP as well, but it got canceled, and we only got this one version, which incidentally was supposed to be a three parter, but for some reason, maybe it didn't sell that well, so we only got the first part. And it ends on a cliffhanger, of course, so it was a pretty fun game for what it was. Uh, Mature audience only. It's classic Duke Nukem, so, you know. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. I think this was a... F no, not this one. I had the other Call of Duty game, the very first one. But, uh... This was a big improvement over the first one. But, uh... This... Standard Call of Duty, nothing special. Graphics, okay. Mini games, once again, tacked on. You know, it's Call of Duty. Moon. I haven't played this. I played it when it first came out. I got maybe a third of a way through. I want to go back and play it again and beat it this time, but from what I played, I remember it being really creepy, actually. 
but uh, good game. Next up is Mario Kart. This really deserved no introduction. You know what you're getting into. It's Mario Kart. Good game. Warhammer 40k Squad Command. The DS version I haven't played. I have the PSP version. So, you know, can't say much about this. Big Mother Truckers. I put about a good maybe 20 or 30 minutes into it. And for what it is, it's not bad. I wanted a, a trucking sim because I had one on my PC years ago. But uh, this scratches the itch if you ever want a 18-wheeler trucking sim. Good game. This is a puzzle collection. You have a uh, crossword and uh, Sudoku, fit word, and word search. It's a puzzle game. What can you say? I will say this uh, this version isn't as good as Crossword DS. If you can find Crossword DS, get that one. A whole lot better, but this one is a pretty good contender. Call of Duty Black Ops. And this is the very best one. And the last one, I believe. Uh, you got to tack on mini games once again. Uh, the shooting aspects are really good. And they did something in this game that they didn't do in the other versions where it had almost like a strategy game feel to it where you have to control I think like three or four of your guys that I believe it's top down view so I'm gonna try to get some gameplay footage so you can see what I'm talking about but it's Call of Duty good game this is a junior classic book collection sometimes but I don't want to drag along my nook I'll take this along with me. Has a bunch of classic books, uh, 130 according to the back of the box. Uh, the Grim Fairy Tales, some of the classics like uh, Treasure Island and such. Good. Civilization Revolution. This was a good game. Uh, made even better. If you have the 3DS XL or DSi XL, the big screen really, really helps out a lot with this game because you're moving your stylus everywhere. You can see what's going on. Good game. Really good game. Probably the best. I don't play that many, that many games like this, period, but this is the best one I've actually played. I played Age of Empires. Couldn't really get into it, but this one is top notch. I believe there's a Vita version as well, but uh, with some added content. But uh, for DS, good game. MLB 2K12. I'm not much of a sports fan, but when I do get that itch to play a sports game, I drag this up. Graphics are really good. Uh, their season, postseason mode. You got your 162 game season. Uh, not bad, not bad for a sports game. It's not really my forte, but hey, sports game. Got another 100 classic book collection. And I think this is a. Uh, I have both. Matter, well, as a matter of fact, let me show both at once. One's a UK version, one's a US version. I think there's like maybe four or five book difference. So I got them both. And the DSi XL, which is what I have, acts as a really good e-reader. You can also hack it if you want to, but uh, and get more titles on it. But officially, these are good. If you like to read, don't want to drag along your Nook or Kindle, or if your smartphone screen is too small like mine is, then the, the DSi XL, 3DS, 3DS XL works good as an e-reader. Good. 
another sports title, Backyard Sports. Uh, let me show this one as well. Another MLB. Uh, this one first. This one's not bad. Uh, about 20 years ago, I had a Backyard Sports title on my PC, which didn't involve any real-life sports players. It was just kids playing ball. That was really good. I had a itch to play it again, but they never ported it to the DS. There's a couple of Game Boy Advance versions, but uh, not the exact one I had for PC. But this one's okay. Uh, oh, this isn't baseball. This is football, sorry. Football, my bad. I uh, haven't put too much time into this one, but for what it is, it's not bad. Okay, this one's Backyard Baseball. Sorry about that, but the mix-up. Uh, backyard Baseball 09. Not bad. You got your season play. All that stuff. You can create your own character. The rare times when I get a itch to play a sports game, this is it. Oh, you got your Madden Football. I'm not a big football player. Sports watcher, I don't really care, but when I do... On the rare chances I want to play a sports title, I dig out these. Uh, I prefer the more cartoony style of the Backyard Sports series, to be honest. But this one is okay. The graphics are really good for a DS game. They really push the boundaries, I think. But I uh, haven't put too much time into this one. But uh, the part I, what I did play was half decent. I just really got to study the plays and whatnot. 007, Quantum of Solace. I really want to show some gameplay feature of this one because it's pretty unique for an action title game on the DS. Uh, good game, good game. Okay, you got another Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. I don't know if this one came out first, but this is the first one I played on the DS. And for what it was, it was okay, but it seemed like you were only stuck with a, the supply, the, the gun selection was really limited. That was my only problem with it. But, uh, and it took forever to kill the bad guys. I mean, it's like at least one clip just to kill one bad guy. But uh, other than that, you know, the same tacked on mini games, stylus based stuff, which is kind of pointless, but, you know, it's Call of Duty. Custom Robo Arena. Uh, just your basic robot arena game. Uh, customization, a lot of it. If you like that kind of stuff, fighting with mechs, get this game. Good game for the DS. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Uh, standard Call of Duty once again. Uh, they didn't do anything new with this one. And I guess that's, you know, why I change it up if it works. Good game. Got Aliens Infestation. If I ever do a review of childhood favorite movies, I'm going to have to review the Alien series. They were probably the first, or one of the very, very first few rated R movies my parents would let me watch. And I became a big, big fan of the Alien series. Uh, anyway, this is, acts as a, like a Metroidvania type game. Uh, good game. You get your classic weapons, your poach rifle, your flamethrower. Uh, I believe the sentry gun is in it. Which, if you haven't seen the special edition version of Aliens, Alien 2, Aliens, then you won't know what the sentry gun is because they cut those things out. But there's a scene where they use those sentry guns up against a whole horde of aliens. And, well, they bring those guns into this game. But the sound effects are perfect. Like they were ripped straight from the movies. Uh, just good game overall. Good game. My Sims Sky Heroes. Uh, decent game for what it is. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the 
DS Sims games, but I loved them on PC. So I got these because I didn't have a, a flight game on my DS. I had that, there was one, Freedom, Freedom Wings, I think it was called. I had that one and I sold it like an idiot to GameStop, which I should have kept. I love that game. I don't know why I sold it, but I'm going to have to go back and rebuy it on Amazon. But uh, anyways, My Sim Sky Heroes, good game. Uh, you wake up, the Amnesiac, there's a lot of RPGs. These rebel guys uh, take you under their wings and you get to customize your jets, fight against the bad guys, like some sky pirates or whatever. I haven't beat the game yet, but good game. Need for Speed Undercover. This is a really good game, a racing game for a DS, I have to say. Uh, the graphics are pretty nice. Uh, I don't know what the difference is between this and the PSP version, but uh, a lot of customization, good stuff in this game. You earn money, upgrade your cars, you know, standard Need for Speed stuff. Nothing was changed. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. Good game. Next up is Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. This is uh, an upgraded version of the Game Boy Advance games. And from what I read, the only difference is was uh, some space scenes. You can, like a dog fight, like a dog fight. And if you can see on the back, I think right there shows a little bit of it. I'll try to get some gameplay feature of it once, one day. I haven't put too much time into it, but uh, you can do, you know, your basic lightsaber moves, force moves. From what I played, pretty good, pretty good. And I think that's about it. Uh, well, let me show off my only 3DS game that I have that I'm playing right now. And it's called Fantasy Life. Now, I've put 10 hours into this game, and I'll give a review later on. But uh, if you don't have a 3DS game, get this game. Let this be your first DS game. Uh, sorry, 3DS game you buy if you love RPGs. And uh, you can't go wrong because the company that developed this game, Level 5, they're the same ones that developed, I believe, the... Professor Layton games, I believe. And those are really good. Hard, but good. And that's about it, guys. I'll show off my stragglers that I have that are not, not in boxes in a later date. But that's all it for my box DS games. See you later, and bye.